Good morning. From the Heart, our morning daily devotional. The reading for today is entitled, Does God Ask Too Much? May 4th. I give my body, my precious blood I shed, that thou mightst ransomed be, and quickened from the dead. I give, I give my life for thee, what hast thou given for me? I give, I give my life for thee, what hast thou given for me? 1 John 2, 15 Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. We see beauty and loveliness and glory in Jesus. We behold in him matchless charms. He was the majesty of heaven. He filled all heaven with splendor. Angels bowed in adoration before him and readily obeyed his commands. Our Savior gave up all. He laid aside his glory, his majesty and splendor and came down to this earth and died for a race of rebels who were transgressors against his Father's commandments. Christ condescended to humble himself that he might save the fallen race. He drank the cup of suffering, and in its place offers us the cup of blessing. Yes, that cup was drained for us, and although many know all this, yet they choose to go on in sin and folly, and still Jesus invites them. He says, Whosoever will, let him come and take of the water of life freely. The truths of God's word must be brought to bear upon us, and we must lay hold upon them. If we do this, they will have a sanctifying influence upon our lives. They will fit us that we may have a preparation for the kingdom of glory, that when our probation shall close, we shall see the king in his beauty and dwell in his presence for evermore. It is the strength of the entire being that God requires. He requires of you a separation from the world and the things of the world. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. It is separation from the love of the world that is required. And what is given you in its place? I will be a father unto you. Do you have to separate in your affections from friends? Does the truth require you to stand alone in your position to serve God because others around you are not willing to yield to the claims that Christ has upon them? Does it require a separation in feeling from them? Yes, and this is the cross which you must bear, which leads many to say, I cannot yield to the claims of the truth. But says Christ, if anyone love father or mother or brother or sister more than me, he is not worthy of me. Whosoever will come after me and will be my disciple, let him take up his cross and follow me. Here is the cross of self-denial and sacrifice to separate in your affections here from those who will not yield to the claims of truth. Is this too great a sacrifice to make for him who sacrificed all for you? Thank you for listening. May these words really resonate in our minds today. Shalom.